Yeah, having Jez at West Coast, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's very exciting as myself growing up and being a big fan of the AFL with Dad also playing. So having a brother in the system has always been exciting for myself and now having to move over here and having him there, it's pretty good. There's a little bit of rivalry. Um, I always try to help Mitch out a bit. Always me beating him up in the backyard. I try to put a positive spin on it, um, telling him that he'll uh, look back on it in a few years. Um, playing against some bigger bodies. He always had the priority being the, the older out of the two of us and the bigger one, so whatever he said pretty much went, so, and I just went along with it. Every week we'd pull the pillows out, throw the pillows on the back, lob the footy up and take a few hangs on each other. That was a, that was a given. The one that sits in my head the most is when we're trying to take speckies on each other. So I was always the, the jumping bag and he was always the one jumping up, taking the hangs. Oh, that's a McGavin again. Being in this state is pretty difficult. We do chat every now and again, but uh, it's not very often though. We've got very busy schedules, so it is tough. Um, he's probably got a thousand blokes in his ear over there talking footy to him, so I'll just give him a call and see how he's going. See him make sure he's focused on what he wants to do and uh, what he wants to get out of it over there. We do have a little chat about footy and how we're going and how the body's holding up, things like that. McGovern, one of their key climax spots, the left hand and the left yeah. hamstring. It wasn't the best uh, thing that could have happened throughout the game, but um, you know the result was a lot better than I thought. Never um, done a soft tissue, let alone a hammy. Um, I thought it was cramp. I was hoping it was cramp. Um, it was a bit early in the game, but um, yeah, never done one. Um, and then figured out oh, I had done one. So I sort of know what it feels like now, but um, just had to do the rehab the last couple of weeks to get it right, and hopefully um, I don't do one ever again. He's helped me out a lot, so he's uh, really got behind me this year, obviously struggling with injuries and stuff, and he's always giving me a text and saying good day, asking me how my body's going, and always just stay positive and, and to keep things moving forward. What a defender he is, McGovern. He reads it so well, doesn't he? So strong in the body, too. Uh, I can learn a lot from the way he's playing, so just that key position player that can go both ends, mobile, reading the play, so things like that I can learn exactly what he does and hopefully I can try to get a bit out of him later on when I see him over the break. Mum's sort of been over there every second week, she's made an excuse of going over there for a holiday pretty much, so she's enjoying that, going over and supporting Mitch, but um, yeah, they've. I think Mum's got a jumper made up, Adelaide West Coast jumper she's made up, that's how much she's starting to support it. Yeah, Mum and Dad are finding it pretty tough, obviously interstate as well makes it a bit harder. But uh, they love it, they love the footy, they love our rivalry and they yeah, just want to support both of us as much as they can. Shields on, McGovern! <laughs> just like shelling peas, isn't it? Big Mitch, Big Mitch McGovern. Just Mitch McGovern. <laughs> I've dreamt about it for a long time, so we haven't played against each other or with each other, so I think at the highest level it would be a dream come true. He delivers all that and more. Congratulations, Jeremy McGovern. Welcome to the big time, son.